Welcome to Walks with Riley. My name is Katie and along with my Australian cattle dog Riley we go on walks and nature hikes and in this video I'm going to be talking about my big three. My sleep system, tent, and pack. Okay, so for those inquiring minds I'm going to go over my um, pack. So the pack that I have had, this is the only pack I've ever had, is a Cabela's Ridgeline 60. So ultralighters, this is not for you. <laughs> this is a framed pack. Turn it around. Framed pack. Ooh, look at all this cushy padding. Padding. Sweats back here, padding, shoulder straps are super padded. Um, it's framed with an adjustable uh, frame in the back. Here's my pouch for my smart water bottle, which I ordered from Justin's Ultralight on Etsy. A lot of people recommend that. Uh, so the pack itself, you know, weighs four pounds. Not gonna lie, it's pretty heavy. Um, I do have a um, kind of little safety watch here that I will wear, the compass and uh, fire starter and some rope and stuff, plus my head net, plus a pack towel, plus a whistle thermometer compass combo, plus my Kula cloth. Um, and this pack has held up very well for a weekend backpacker. Um, I did accidentally rip the brain. So now the only thing I can keep in the brain is like rain gear so that if it gets wet, it's okay. And I, I mean, I put sunglasses in it and I lost the sunglasses cause I ripped such a big hole in it. Um, but you know, I could still put stuff in it. It still keeps it, you know, covered. Um, you can see a little bit more of the, the frame. This is hard right here, but you know, don't feel it. So, so comfortable. Contractor bag is what I line my pack with and everything that I don't want to get wet goes in there such as my sleeping bag um, that kind of thing so yeah clothes stuff like that so this is it this is the bad boy she's big but uh, comfortable multiple pockets multiple little hooks and straps and it's so adjustable and I can pull the hip belt real tight and the chest the chest strap really tight yeah And here's my sleep system. I have my brand new, never used, Nemo uh, Women's 15 Degree Disco. Yeah. It is a spoon-shaped bag as opposed to the Kelty Mummy bag that I was using. I did a whole video on this bag because I'm obsessed and I haven't even got to use it yet. So, this will be our maiden voyage. Um, this is the Outdoorsman Lab um, sleep pad. This is the only one I've ever had as well. This is 14 ounces. Um, it's fairly comfortable. I mean, I don't have any complaints about it. It was not expensive. It was fairly cheap. Uh, and I'm extra, so I'm bringing two pillows from Outdoor Vitals. You can you can see them a lot on Facebook. Um, they have a lot of, of ads on there. And um, so I got two. They're super ultra light. Um, they have a, they're really smooth so they don't make a lot of noise at night and I put one by my head and then one under my uh, my arm in case I decide to do some side sleeping so that's my sleep system very excited about it and finally the last piece of my big three is my mountain hardware high low two which is a two-person tent um, single wall with poles, doesn't use trekking poles. And um, this is the first tent that I have purchased. I used a hammock on a couple trips. Um, and then we did another trip where we brought a tent, but we didn't even end up using it. We just stayed in shelters the whole time. So this will be our third, this is my third time sleeping um, in this tent. And I'm not gonna bring a footprint, which I may regret because it's supposed to be wet. But 
the places I'm going to be going are very have very nice campsites that are very flat and um, free of rocks and stuff. So I don't know. Could be a mistake. We'll see. Um, but I have a whole video of me setting up this tent um, out there, which I can link uh, if you have any interest in that.